Are you planning to lose some weight, but you don't know whether you should go the normal way of calorie restriction, where you eat small frequent meals throughout the day, or whether you should try a fasting approach? Well, the fitness industry has been extremely successful in promoting the idea that you have to eat every two hours to not lose your hard-earned muscle mass. And even though I followed this approach for many years, it never really worked for me. Eating small frequent meals throughout the day made me incredibly hungry. But then, about 4 years ago, I stumbled upon intermittent fasting. And even though I liked the idea to do fasting as a challenge, I was extremely skeptical whether this approach of not having protein for more than 2 hours will lead to a massive loss of muscle mass. Intermittent fasting means to not eat for a certain time and then consume all your calories in a short eating window. Common examples are fasts of 12, 16 or 20 hours, but also every other day fasts are becoming more and more popular. I decided to start with the 16 hours fasting window. Unfortunately, 4 years ago there was not much research available, but one study published in 2016 gave me hope. During an 8 week trial, researchers split 34 men who were experienced in weight training into two groups and both groups were assigned to eat the same amount of protein and the same amount of calories per day. The groups only differed in the meal timing. One group performed intermittent fasting with an eating window of 8 hours, while the second group followed a normal diet with breakfast, lunch and dinner. By the end of the study, neither group had lost lean mass or strength. However, the time-restricted group lost on average 1.6 kg of fat, while there was no significant fat loss in the normal diet group. This study gave me the first indication that intermittent fasting might indeed protect your lean muscle mass and at the same time speed up fat loss. And now, about 4 years later, other studies confirmed this. For instance, a recent meta-analysis looked at 8 studies and found that Results suggest that intermittent fasting paired with resistance training generally maintains lean body mass and can also promote fat loss. I will come to my personal experience in a moment, but let's first discuss why intermittent fasting may be superior to calorie restriction when it comes to preserving lean muscle mass. There are at least two potential mechanisms that could explain it. The first one is that fasting increases the release of the human growth hormone, which stimulates muscle growth and fat burning. A study found that a 24 hour fast more than doubled growth hormone release, with an even further increase after 5 days of fasting. The study also found that the concentration of the ketone body, beta hydroxybutyrate, increased extremely during the fast. Which is the second mechanism how fasting might protect lean muscle mass? During a fast or when following a ketogenic diet, the body starts to break down fat to produce ketone bodies. And besides their role as an alternative energy source to glucose, ketone bodies also appear to be muscle sparing. An example about the muscle protecting properties of ketone bodies is provided by the human guinea pig and best selling author Tim Ferriss who talks about two different fasts that he did. His first fast was a 7 day fast under clinical supervision. He was stationed in a hospital and not allowed to exercise during the fast and he ended up losing about 6 kilograms of muscle mass. However, during another fast, Tim went without eating for 10 days and was able to maintain all his muscles by applying some small tricks. He went on a 3-4 to four hour walk the first day of fasting to deplete his glycogen stores and to speed up the transition into ketosis. He also consumed small amounts of branched chain amino acids and about 300-500 to 500 calories of pure fat mainly in form of exogenous ketones to further fasten the transition into the muscle preserving state of ketosis. You can certainly argue that this is not a clean fast, but I guess if it works, it works. And the muscle preserving effect of ketones is by no means a new concept. A study already published in 1988 used intravenous infusions of the ketone body beta hydroxybutyrate and looked at the effect on protein synthesis by tracking the metabolism of the amino acid leucine. The researchers found that leucine oxidation was decreased by an average of 30% 
an incorporation of leucine into skeletal muscle protein increased by 5 to 17 percent. This means that beta hydroxybutyrate decreases muscle degradation and increases muscle protein synthesis. Now, somebody who helped Tim Ferriss with his successful fasting approach was Dr. Dominic D'Agostino, who is a researcher that studies the effect of ketone bodies and especially focused on the anti-catabolic effect of ketone bodies. Okay, personally, I have done a ketogenic diet and a slow-carb diet, both paired with intermittent fasting. And in both cases, I lost significant amounts of body fat, and there was almost no need at all to reduce my lifting weight at the gym. So, for me personally, intermittent fasting makes dieting much, much easier, and it certainly does not cause more muscle loss compared to a normal diet. Thank you for watching.